Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video that I do every single um, weekend on the Saturday just uh, outlining all of the, the news and the pre-orders for both Forge World and Games Workshop. First things first, I want to say a huge thank you uh, to the Patreons there um, that are supporting the channel um, and of course everyone else that um, watches all the videos, subscribes, likes and leaves comments. Um, your support really does mean a lot to me. I don't get any of the things I uh, make videos on or review for free, um, no special favours or anything, so that's why I can give you uh, open and honest reviews. So I just want to say a huge thank you to uh, all the people that support the channel. I've been doing it for five and a half years, almost six. Um, so yeah, I do thank you for your support. Okay, let's hop on over to the Warhammer community website. There's a lot going on here, um, a lot of moving images and things. Still, Kill Team is, is the big um, focus. Um, there was something put out uh, yesterday uh, on the news, um, but pretty much we've been, I say fed, we've been um, trickled, uh, you know, little bits of information since last weekend. Everything from, um, you know, it's saying uh, next week, Titans Walk uh, to 412 better service and faster shipping in America, which is great because they're going to have like a either a factory in in um, uh, America or they're just going to ship a load of uh, products and things over to to America, and um, so it's going to be easier for for people to get get the 412 stuff. There, there's been more of a focus on Kill Team and pre-order for the um, new um, Necromunda um, gang. Um, then there was a, a preview for some uh, Warhammer Legends Dragons of the Old World. Um, these, I think, are these made to order or online exclusive? Um, I think these are made to order, but these dragons are fantastic. So if you haven't picked them up yet in your Warhammer collection, then now is like the best time to do that if you if you miss them. Then um, all through the week, Adeptus Titanicus, um, little articles about the Horus Heresy, uh, War on a New Scale, um, getting started with Adeptus Titanicus is a great seven minute video by Andy Hoare. Well, it's not on there, but um, both of those guys, uh, great video from them um, outlining uh, Adeptus Titanicus and obviously a little bit of a preview for Reaver Titans and uh, Warhound Titans. As this video goes on I will be giving uh, a bit of an insight into my own thoughts because you know people wanted to, to hear my thoughts about the box set and the pricing and things like that. I won't be doing a separate video, um, it will just be incorporated in this video. Um, I thought that was the best way to do it. Um, I know other YouTubers have set out their own video and things but without the kit in my hands without building the models i don't think it's that fair in my opinion um to to do that yes i've seen an unboxing of them and yes i've held the models but without going through the steps and the processes and the sprues and i, I don't think i can get a complete picture um not 100 percent picture at least so i don't think it's, it's fair but anyway moving back onto the news basically uh they were talking about a real life solar engine as an explanation of why it's so uh, hot in the UK. Um, and basically, I think um, they, they were just buzzing about uh, the, the new solar array. I noticed that um, when I went to the event last month that they had a load of solar panels on their roof when I was eating at um, Bookman's Bar. I think I was sat about there and I looked at all those solar panels. So it's nice to see them having that on the other side their factory and things so that's great it's good that they're, they're using that and they've covered a must uh, save on their electricity bill a bit um there's a focus on new from forge world uh, yesterday um i'll be going onto forge world's website in a moment what's new uh with jim and bob and the commentators basically you can get a load of cheerleaders and things for your different factions now and some um star players basically so we'll they're up for pre-order and we'll, we'll have a look at them shortly and then um there, a little talk about seminars exclusives at Warhammer Fest Europe, um, which is in Dusseldorf. Um, we'll just have a little look there. Uh, so exclusives, these are the things that you can normally get at the uh, Games Workshop HQ in Nottingham. Um, but And then you've got the pre-releases. So it doesn't look, I mean, I think you couldn't get the model, maybe you could. Um, but I'm not sure you could get the elves, um, but you can get Janisha, and that's it. So here's a list of what you'll be able to pick up. So I don't know if you're going to be able to pick up much more than this. I would have 
thought so, hope so, but there you go. That's that's the list of your exclusive models. And then the grand opening, you've got some special guests uh, announced um, for the grand opening. And then uh, Adeptus Titanicus miniatures showcase. Um, so showcasing a load of Warlord Titans and some Knights. And there you go. So no, no Warhounds in those pictures or Reavers yet. Um, but there you go. Right, let's move on to Forge World and look at the pre-orders. Um, so if we just go to New, and then we select Pre-orders. So you've got the Reichland Reavers full roster. You've got the All-Star Elfheim Eagles. Um, you've got the Wars, which are three Orc cheerleaders, basically. You've got the Reaverettes, £22 for four. It's a fair bit. And then £22 for the dam Damsels and £20 for Blood Bowl um, human team roster. And then £18 for Eldrill Sidewinder. So, Forge World, new releases, new pre orders this week, but it's all for Blood Bowl. Okay, I'm hoping there's going to be something 40k or, or Horus Heresy next week, maybe. But we'll see. Now, this is the big pre order uh, this weekend. And the Grandmaster Edition is already sold out. So. I've read a lot of um, comments on news websites, Warhammer news websites, all of this week. Uh, and it's a classic case of um, people that moan and complain about things are often um, shout the loudest. They're, they're often heard the most because it's all sold out. And it's not sold out here, it's sold out on many other places as well. So the people that are happy with the pricing, um, which seems to be the main bugbear for a lot of the complaints, um, all the models in in the kit are the ones that are buying the models so they've bought all the kits so it's sold out can't get it and it's sold out within an hour or two and um, so definitely the hype is there games workshop definitely didn't make enough and I always stand by that and um, they've probably got buildings full of kill team box sets um, which a lot of the I say complainers um, I've been promoting and saying that it's a better kit and all the rest of it and yeah there, there are there are pros and cons to that kind of argument but yeah this is the one that sold out so definitely Games Workshop didn't make enough the hype is there and people are interested and it looks like from the sales numbers at least initially that there will be plenty of people with these models and there will be plenty of people that will be playing games so in my opinion ignore the naysayers if you want to get this game try and get it because it's sold out at the moment though I will go through uh, what's on pre-order now, um, and while I do that, I will give you my own sort of opinions and, and thoughts about the set. So let's look at new and exclusive. Let's look at pre-orders, and let's go view all, and then high to low. So the most expensive thing here is the Titanicus collection, which just includes the Grandmaster edition um, and a paperback version of Dan Abnett's Titanicus, which is a great model. Uh, great model which is a great book novel that's what I meant to say novel model um, it's a great novel I definitely recommend you read it it came out in 2009 I believe so it's still nine years old but I read it then and thoroughly enjoyed it I think there are other novels that cover Titans more um, definitely Warlord uh, the mo uh, most recent um, Titan novel covered Titans more in my opinion but there you go um, this is the Grandmaster edition right here let's have a look at this in detail now remember I uh, had the world exclusive unboxing of uh, this set when I went to the um, open day specialist games were open day and I was very impressed with it um, and then they announced the price not that long ago or the price was leaked it's 175 pounds it is the Grandmaster edition it's not the starter set it's not you know it's not marketed, it never has been marketed as a starter set, it's a Grand Master Edition. If it was a starter set, it would have a few Warhounds and a few Knights, maybe one Reaver. I don't think it would be this price. This is an extremely, extremely high price, and I don't think they, they thought that it would sell enough. Because look, email me, temporarily out of it, it comes out for pre-order today, guys, and they have not made enough. It's so frustrating when they do this. So they've put the price point because it's a specialist game. Maybe they didn't think many people were were interested enough. Because why would you shoot yourself in the foot and not make enough and then also put a high price point? Because now people are doubly annoyed. One, because it's expensive 
and two, they can't get their hands on it. At least if you made enough and you made it expensive, <laughs> people would still be able to get, get them even at that, that high price. But now, while you can't get it, people are thinking, hmm, and get Kill Team for £60 or £80 or whatever for way less than half the price. I can spend £175 on whatever, something else. A load of games, a load of Blu-rays, a load of, you know, I'm not trying to play devil's advocate, but just highlighting the fact that I'm not paid to do this. I, I've got complete control over this channel and over um, what I say, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I will tell you how it is. Uh, I don't get anything for free, as I've always said. This is my hobby too, and I feel very passionate about it, and I feel like I can give you my open and honest opinion. I don't think that they should have opened it up with Warlords and Knights. Two ends of the complete, complete spectrum. Um, I think Warhounds and Knights, or maybe Reavers and Warhounds, um, they're starting off with like a, a special edition, a limited edition kind of thing. They are going to keep printing them, so even though you can't get it now, you will be able to get it um, eventually. But I hope that that period in which you can get this kit and this set, I hope they're making them right now. I really do, because the interest has the potential of, of dwindling. Um, especially as they've already got plans to release the Reaver and the Warhounds. This game's been set in motion um, the past two and a half years or so, so they've had enough time um, to put their feelers out to see how much hype is. You only have to look at my unboxing video to see that that's got, what, 40, 50,000 views? Insane. But moving back onto this, I don't think the £175 price point is the best way of um, starting this game. It obviously is to some extent because it's all sold out instantly so it's kind of a contradiction in itself but personally I would have rather them have um, you know different units in it but the sales speak for themselves um, the majority of people have opted to accept this price and go for it and buy the the whole set it is a good set it's nice that you get six knights in total and two warlords the amount of things you get in there is, is pretty good. You get the hardback rule book. I think the price points for the Warlords are reasonable in a way because they are three sprues, but I think they're £65 separate. Um, it's it's a fair amount of money. People are like, oh, it's the same size of a knight. It isn't. Oh, it really sort of frustrates me. They're not, they're not the same size of a knight whatsoever. Can't proxy or vice versa or anything. Anyway, that is the set. It's all sold out. The Warlord collection, um, right here, you get a Warlord and the rule set for £100. That's not too bad. The Imperialis Sector is £75. And this has, I think, eight medium frames of components and eight large frames. Um, basically 16 frames of scenery, enough for a small city. Again, not sure about the pricing of, of that. This is it, Warlord Titan, 65 pound. Still an awful lot of money, let's face it. It's, it's a lot of money, 65 pound. Um, but it's a damn sight cheaper than spending 1,300 pound on the resin model. The other pre-orders, or made to order, are the uh, the dragons. You've got a Sisters of Twilight on Sathin or Kathin Ha, uh, Prince Imric, and Malekith, the Witch King of Nagaroth, um, all for £36. Um, if they're not pewter, they'll probably be fine cast. I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll be pewter. Let's just see. Let's just have a little preview. multi-kit plastic and metal okay there you go then that's your answer the rule set is 35 pounds the civitas imperialis is 25 pounds slaves to darkness um traitor primarchs gather um as horus pushes for terror i think that's hardback so it might be worth waiting for a, a soft one doesn't actually say but I think it is hardback the knights £20 for free knights tainted heart uh, battle line maniple command terminal pack 15 
Realm Gate Wars 1, Adeptus Titanicus, Warlord Battle Titan, Command Terminal Pack, wow, bit of a mouthful, Lords of Terror, uh, Audio CD I think, uh, Servants of the Machine God, it's now in paperback, uh, Titanicus is in paperback, good timing for that one though, uh, Garrow is in paperback, um, the Warlord Battle Titan Weapon Card Pack, £7.50, and then you've got the Titanicus Collector's Coins which are, well, free, but they're sold out too, I think if you pre-ordered Adeptus Titanicus you got their coins with it so quite a, a nice selection of pre-orders this week from um, well Forge World if you're into um, Blood Bowl um, but also from Games Workshop um, you've got the Imperial Knights which are separate you've got the Warlord Titan which is separate £65 yes these are not out of stock you can just pre-order yourself a, a Warlord Titan if you want it's still a hefty amount of, uh, of money to, to, to drop though um, but that is the Warlord Titan and lots of great poses and of course because it's not resin you can really go to town with the poses because it's not going to topple over um, you've, you've got to be really careful with the, the resin ones for that because it's such a heavy model especially the carapace and then the Grandmaster edition itself which yeah unfortunately is uh, out of stock and then the uh, the rules um, set which is £35 nothing stopping you from buying um, a warlord and the rule set but that's £100 and for the extra £75 you could get another Warlord Titan, which is 65, and then 40 pounds worth of knights. Um, so the Grandmaster Edition does save you a bit of money, but it's still a high price point to get into the game. However, because it's all sold out, I don't think you're gonna have any problems in, in trying to find someone to, to play against. So there you go. That is all of the, the pre-orders um, up for Forge World and Games Workshop uh, this week. Did you manage to pre-order Adeptus Titanicus? Um, please do put it in the comments below if you're excited to, to get that and to build the models. Uh, it'd be great to hear from you. Um, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.